Everybody has their own favorite open source LLM, but which one is the best? We might have an answer now. The folks who created Vacunia have put together this amazing website where you can actually objectively compare different large language models. You can experiment with a total of nine different models, including Vacunia, Kavala, Open Assistant, Fast Chat T5, Alpaca, Chat GLM, Dolly 2, Stable LM, and the original Llama model. Apart from individually looking at the output of these models, you can put them in a competition with each other. You can do it in two ways. The first one is called Chatbot Arena, where you can chat with two anonymous models side by side and vote for which one is better. Now, this is an excellent way of comparing different models because you don't know which model is which. So you simply are shown model A and model B, you give a prompt, you get a response, and then you get to choose which one is the best. And after that, it will show you which model it was. The second possibility on their website is you can simply choose one model. So let's say Vakunia 13B and choose another model from the list of nine models. And then you look at the responses on the same prompt and you can choose which model is the best. Now, this first methodology is the one uh, which is the most powerful one because it's simple blind testing. So based on the data they have collected, they actually provide a leaderboard where you can see all the models compared and, and see which one is the best on human feedback. Now, this is great because we're not looking at their performance on some benchmarks, but rather on actual human feedbacks. So we will look at the leaderboard in a minute, but I just want to experiment and play around with uh, this blind uh, model comparison first. So to do this, we're going to use a very simple prompt. So the first prompt is going to be draft an apology email to a customer who experienced a delay in their order and provide reassurances that the issue has been resolved. Okay, so this is going to be our prompt uh, the first for the first comparison. So let's send this prompt in and it will randomly pick two models and those models will start generating responses. Now it would be actually interesting if you pause the video and read both response read both responses and decide for yourself which model is which you could probably make a guess. So the first one is I apologize for the delay in the processing your order. Uh, it's more of a kind of response. The thing which I liked it was that uh, it says we recently ran into an unexpected issue with the raw materials needed to fulfill your order. So it kind of give it and give the customer a cause of the why the delay happened. So this is very nice. Now the second model has a, a similar response, but it's uh, a lot more detailed. So for example, here it says a team has been working hard to identify the root cause of the delay. And a thing which I really liked was that as a token of our apology, we would like to offer you and then uh, uh, insert compensation or offer if appropriate, right? So this is pretty good. I would suspect this is going to be either Vacunia or uh, Kavala, and this is probably a smaller model or even the original lab. They actually have access to GPT-4 and ChatGPT, so sometimes the responses can be coming from them uh, and we don't know ahead of time. But in this case, I think uh, Model A is better in my opinion. So I'm going to select Model A and then you see that, oh, okay, so actually ChatGPT uh, that generated this response and this one is coming from uh, Dolly uh, version 2. Now, this is a great way of providing uh, feedbacks to the system and your feedbacks are actually uh, used for retraining these models. So it's it's a great way that you can contribute to the open source efforts. Now, if you want to compare two different uh, specific models together, so you can actually come here and select those. So let's say I want to compare Vacunia versus Stable LM. And my prompt in this case is what are the main differences between Python and JavaScript programming languages. So uh, based on my experience, I would ex expect Okunya to be better, but let's see. Both of them actually uh, came up with a very similar response. So let's say uh, they compare it in terms of syntax, memory management, functional calling, object oriented programming, iteration. And in this case, it's uh, syntax data type functions, scope, libraries. Right? So I think it, it, these are uh, similar responses or similar comparison. But I really like uh, this comparison 
because you could be actually really surprised based on the results. It's um, sometimes we think that the smaller models are not really powerful, but what I have seen is in my responses, sometimes the smaller model can outperform uh, the larger models. Now let's look at the leaderboard. Uh, but before that, let's see what the community thinks. So maybe uh, order them on the uh, based on what your opinion is. Which one are the the top? Let's say three or five. It would be uh, interesting to see that in the comment section below. If you'd like to do that, pause the video and maybe post a comment. All right. So based on all the um, human feedback here is what people think right so this is the great thing about uh, their method that they are evaluating it on the human responses rather than on uh, some benchmarks now keep in mind that the leaderboards board is based on the data that I have collected before may 1st right so it could change actually um, but overall Wokonia seems to be the most like model followed by Koala um, and then Open Assistant, then Alpaca, then Chat GLM and uh, Fast Chat. Dolly version 2 surprisingly um, is actually on a much lower uh, rank than I would have suspected. And similar to uh, similar is the case with Stable LM, but I think Stable LM was just released so maybe that's the case. Uh, the most surpri surprising part for me was uh, this fast chat, which is a Flan T5 model that is fine-tuned uh, to be like a chat assistant. Now, this is the uh, smallest of the models, so it's just 13 billion parameter compared to let's say the 13 or 12 billion parameter, but it's surprisingly uh, doing well compared to the other models. Now, they have provided a really comprehensive statistical comparison. So let's say uh, here are a few plots if you guys are interested in. So the first one is fraction of model A wins for all and non-tied A versus B battles, right? So let's say in this case, uh, Wakunia versus the rest of the models. Uh, so it's like if there is a one-to-one -one comparison, so Wakunia was able to beat uh, Koala almost 69% of the time, 68% to be exact. Then uh, Wakunia versus Open Assistant, so Op Wakunia won around 77% uh, of the time, right? So you can look at these results. Then here's a, a battle count for each combination of the model. So this means that how many times different models were compared. So let's say Wakunia versus uh, Koala, it was compared 422 times. Now, based on these results, you can see that the fast chat uh, T5 model as well as uh, the stable LM models, these are not compared a lot with the rest of the models. So that could be a reason for a stable LM uh, not being like, high up in the rank. Now, if you take average win rate against all other models, so not just one-to-one -one comparison, then um, Wakunia is the overall winner. And this is probably expected. Then there's Koala and Alpaca and Open Assistant. Similarly, they provide something called ELO scores or estimates, which measure the relative performance of different models. And even on that, uh, Wakunia is the uh, top model. And they actually have a very comprehensive uh, description based on their methodology uh, to explain it. And they have even provided a Google Colab notebook with all the data available. So you can actually go and experiment with it. Or if you want to perform any other um, statistical comparison, it's actually possible. All the results that uh, they have shown is actually derived from this Google Colab notebook. It's actually great to see these um, efforts to objectively compare uh, different open source models. And the results, I think, are uh, not unexpected because if you look at uh, online discussion, everybody thinks that uh, Wakunia is the best model overall. It would be actually nice to see if they can add some more models. Uh, for example, there is the stable Wakunia now. It, there is even uh, Wizard LM, and uh, just recently another model called Wizard Wakunia was also released, which is very promising. I hope you like this video. If you are interested in learning more about large language models, you can actually check out my channel. I have a whole bunch of videos on different large language models. There is even a dedicated playlist. So you will find all the models that have been released so far. For example, there's OpenNama, Stable Wakunia, Kunia with Vision.
and almost all the other models. If you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel and push that bell notification button. That way you don't miss any new videos. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.